So that is, um, let me just check. I have that document open in another window of the, the agenda for today just to make sure that I'm keeping myself on track. <laughs> Because I, I tend to ramble and get sidetracked easily, which I think is one of the things my, my students love about being in my class. They know they can get me off track just by asking me a good question. Uh, and we'll spend a half hour talking about, you know, the, the meaning of life and asking critical questions. So that's basically... Oh, there's one more thing that I wanted to talk about, and that is creating a folder of shared resources. So in Google Drive, you can share folders. Uh, and Classroom is set up to automatically create all of these shared folders with all of your students. It, it takes care of a lot of that, that grunt work. But what I love doing is I love creating a folder to share with my department. So I'm a math teacher. So I create a shared resources folder. And then what I can actually do in Google Drive is I can click on this little icon up here to share with people. So I can share and I can add the names of all of my colleagues who are teaching um, this level of math this year. And then we can actually create a test in a Google Doc. So we can say, you know what, I've created this document. And because this document was created or is located in this shared folder, it inherits those sharing permissions. So this test will actually be shared with all of the teachers in the math department. Um, so what that means is we can look at the test as a department and be consistent across every class. So if I'm teaching grade 9 math this year, and I'm going to be running a, a test on Chapter 9. I can create a test on Chapter 9. Uh, and the other teachers who are teaching Chapter 9 to Grade 9 right now will be able to use the same test um, or use the same questions. Um, and we can actually create it. We can comment. We can do suggested edits. Uh, and because the folder shared just with that department, students can't access it. So it's a good way of making sure uh, not only that we're consistent across the department, but also it's a great way for me to say, you know what, I need to write this test. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask uh, a couple of my colleagues um, to add questions. So question one and question two. Question three, and what I can do is I can insert a comment on this question, and I can actually tag a colleague in this this comment. So if I type plus, and I start typing narrative at learningbird.com, can you create a great math question about geometric series? What this is going to do is this is going to add a comment to this document. It's going to direct this comment to Meredith, and it's going to check the sharing permissions to make sure that Meredith has access to this. So this is going to send an email to Meredith, but it's also going to say, uh-oh, the person you mentioned does not have permission to comment. How change the sharing? So I'm going to change this. I want Meredith to be able to edit. So I'm going to share and comment. That's done three things. It's shared the document with Meredith. It's put this comment in there so she can reply to it. And it's sent her an email with a link to the document so that she can actually get to it right away without going to Drive, looking and incoming to find where it's shared with her or anything like that. Um, so using the comments is a really great way of working together as a department. And using the little plus is a fantastic way of directing comments to people. So I could say, plus Chris Webb, what? Don't worry about this question. 
Meredith has it under control. You can actually create a conversation um, and then once Meredith comes in and she creates the question, she can actually resolve the comment and it'll go away. If you want to see every comment that's been archived, there's a button up here to see the comments thread and that actually shows you who created the comment, who resolved the comment, and it's, it's a whole discussion thing, which I really like. Um, so I use shared documents and comments uh, a lot, both with students um, and with my colleagues. Okay, you, you... It's, it's really a fantastic way of collaborating um, live. And one of the most fun things to do is while a student is working on an assignment, <laughs> I can jump in and I can comment on things. Mm. It, you can actually hear them <laughs> point out to their friend, they're, Mr. Peterson just left a comment on my document. And it's really neat because it's a way of creating um, interaction with them and getting them to see that, you know, I'm, I'm going to be in there, I'm going to be looking at their work while they're working on it, and I'm going to be helping them polish it to get the, the best mark that they can, because that's really what I want. I want them to get great marks. You, you just mentioned while you started talking about folders that you could use it in Classroom as well. So yeah, um, in Google Classroom, if you go to Google Drive, mm -hmm. Google Classroom will create a folder called Classroom. Now, it's right. really important that you don't rename these things because it yeah. can mess things up. Yeah. So if I open up Google Classroom, what I'll see is I will see a folder for each of my classes. Right. I've if seen I that, and I've seen the drop the document here, but I wasn't sure what to do with that. If I open up that, that folder for this class, I'll actually see a few different things. So I'll see a folder for each assignment, and I actually use a naming structure where every single assignment that I give, I give it a three-digit code, starting at 001, then 002. It makes it a lot easier to keep track of things and to make sure that I put the grades in the right place in the gradebook. Um, but it also creates a folder called Templates Do Not Edit. They are serious about that. Don't edit them. Because if you look at this, this is my 001 welcome assignment. We're not, this was... your, we're not seeing your computer. Oh, right sorry. Sometimes I do that. <laughs> Let me share that. Here we go. So I'm in my Math 10604 classroom folder. And I've got a folder for each assignment. And then I've got a folder called Templates Do Not Edit. When you choose to make a copy of the assignment for each student, mm -hmm. what it does is it creates the master copy in this folder. Uh, okay. So this is where the master copies are. So that means that when I go to Welcome Assignment and maybe I want to change it because I want to use this assignment again for another class another time, it's still got the original template that I handed out to Math 10604 this year. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then it's created a folder for that assignment itself. And within that folder, I've got every single student's assignment. So I can see all of the assignments that the students have started, whether mm -hmm. they've turned them in or not. As soon as the student has started the assignment, it will create that document so what I can do is I can open up this student's assignment and I can actually make some suggested edits to it while they're working on it. So I can say, you know what, um, this is a proper noun, so I'm going to highlight that and change it to a capital K. Um, I can go in and I can actually just add comments as well because right now this student is working on this. I can't actually go in and change this original document. What I can do is I can only make comments. Mm -hmm. okay. the, the suggested edits and the comments um, both work on the same um, permissions level. All right. Well, thank you. I'm going to have to run. I have an appointment I have to get to. But um, 
been very helpful, and I'm looking forward to sharing what we when I get the uh, final whatever. I'm, I'm so tired right now; I can't talk. So <laughs> no problem. It's been, a, it's been a long week, but um, yeah. So no, but it's it's good to get the details because we've gotten a lot of bits and pieces, and just go figure it out. And uh, you know, to see all the little pieces is very helpful. Good. Well, I'm glad it was helpful, and yeah. uh, thanks again to Learning Bird for for yeah, giving you, us Heather. this time. And <laughs> thank you, we all there. <laughs> and Cindy, just so you know, I made some notes on what James went over mm -hmm. that okay. were not in the resources page, and uh -huh. I'll um, okay. I'll make a list of those and take some screenshots, like the pin tabs and stuff, that we mm -hmm. can really see that well. Great. And um, I'll send those out to you. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, you're yeah. welcome. Once once the video is on YouTube, uh, mm -hmm. which should happen in the next few minutes, what I'll do is I'll actually go in and edit the description to put in links to the resources that um, either we've created or that we will be creating, mm -hmm. uh, and that will that'll just be an easy way to get to those resources right away for you. Right. Okay. I do love technology. <laughs> Good. I'm glad to hear it. <laughs> so thanks again. All right. Okay. Have so long. Okay, bye-bye.